Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be looking at how to render wireframes in Blender. So you can see here as an example, I quickly whipped up in GIMP where I overlaid um, a wireframe render over one of my models. And um, it doesn't matter if you don't know how to use GIMP, the main focus here anyway is just how to set this up in Blender. So we're not gonna only just be looking at how to um, enable the wireframe for the viewport display, but we're also gonna be looking at how you can actually render the viewport wireframe and how you can even do that with an alpha channel in the background to make it easier for when you wanna, for example, in another third party software, do some nice wireframe overlays on top of your 3D models. This has all sorts of really cool applications. It allows you to kind of show um, the wireframe of your models and sometimes it just adds a really artistic effect. So I think that's enough of an intro. Let's jump into this and I hope you guys enjoy. So here you can see an example of just a object, in this case, my Iron Man model, just in the 3D scene as you'd usually see. And over here I have some lights and some cameras. Now let's say for example, in the viewport here, I wanted to see the wireframe. Well, in Blender 4.3 and some of the older versions as well, you can go over here to the top to the overlays, come to the drop down, and under the geometry, you can enable wireframe, and then you can adjust the opacity here. So by default, I think it's at a lower value, but you can kind of make it very low, and then bring it all the way up to one, which is really cool. And generally, I kind of like it a little bit on the lighter side, but for these purposes, we'll just go with a opacity value of one. Okay, so now if we go to our camera view, if you were to go render and just render it the conventional way, it'll just render the thing as it always does. So if you wanna actually render this as an image with the wireframe displayed, you need to go over here to view instead and then go down to viewport render image. And there you go. Now you have your wireframe displayed. However, one of the issues we're running into is we're seeing all of the other objects as well. So a simple fix to that unless you wanted to see them. But if you wanted to not see that, you can go to your overlays again. And then under the objects here, you can temporarily turn off extras. And now if you go to your view and then render the image, you can see here in the viewport, that's a lot cleaner. Now this looks pretty cool, right? But we can even do more. Let's say for example, you wanted this with a transparent background. So you can overlay this in another software. For example, you go into Adobe, Premiere, or you want to do it just an image in Photoshop or GIMP. So what you can do then is, first of all, make sure you're in cycles in your render engine. Then you can go over down on your render settings and go down to film and enable transparent. And then if you were to go to view and then viewport render, you now see it actually has the transparent background. So now you can go image, save as, and you could save this somewhere on your computer. However, before I do that, I'm gonna do something even cooler. I'm gonna show you something that you might not be aware of. Let's say for example, you wanted this lines, these lines here to be a different color. So what you could do, and this is really awesome, is you can go to edit, you can go over to your preferences, then you can go over to theme, and you can go over to 3D viewport, and you can come here to the wire and change this to any color that you want. How cool is that? So I might wanna go with like a blue kind of color, Maybe just go with like a dark blue. That looks really cool. Like the old kind of 3ds Max and Maya. I think it still is that color, but yeah, there you go. Now we've changed it to blue. So I'm gonna close this. And I could also go to my materials. And here I just have this Iron Man material that I've added. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to my viewport display and any material you have an object, you can come to the viewport display and you can change the color. So I might wanna change this to kind of like this sort of color and I can take the roughness in the viewport and change that as well. So I'm gonna make it more rough. So I think that looks cool. So now I have something like this and I'm just gonna go viewport, or view over here and then go to the viewport render. And now that's looking really, really cool. Kind of like that sort of drafty blueprint look. So now all I have to do is I have to go image, save as, I'll save it to example to my desktop. I'll call it wireframe. There we go, and make sure it's saved as an RGBA, so we have that alpha channel. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. And then what I might wanna do is, because that was a viewport render, I might just go ahead, and in this case, I wanna just render this out as a normal render, so I'm just gonna bring some of my background elements in. I have a background plane here, and I'm just gonna go render, and this time I'm gonna render it the normal way. And now I've rendered my um, model here as it would normally look. And I'm gonna go image, I'm gonna go save as, I'm gonna save that to my desktop and just call it um, render. 
and I'm going to make sure to save it as a at least as a PNG, which is good. I'm going to go save as image. And now all I have to do is this is the fun part and you don't have to do this, but this is the way I like to do it. I like to go and use GIMP. So GIMP is a free program you can get online. If you don't have GIMP, um, you might have Photoshop, for example, you can go ahead and use that. A lot of these image manipulation softwares are just kind of very similar these days, but GIMP is a free one you can get online. There's a lot of tutorials. And what I'm going to do once I have GIMP open, I'm going to drag my render in. And then on top of my render, I'm going to drag that alpha. And because it um, the, the wireframe has that alpha channel, you can see it still preserves the background here. So now the really cool thing is I can come here and I can adjust the opacity. So if I wanted kind of like a blend, between the two, you can see here, I can do that. But what I prefer to do is with my wireframe here, I'm gonna right click because that layer is above my render. I'm gonna go add layer mask, go add. And then I'll just select half of this. I'll come here to my draw brush and I'll come with the black and I'll just kind of paint this ma um, map over here. So the black value here on the mask is gonna remove this overlay. And I'm just going to do half of it and then get rid of that border there. And now I have this really cool result and I have my videos thumbnail all in one shot, which is really cool. And I can also now click on this wireframe overlay and I can go to my colors and I can go to the curves and I can kind of make some adjustments to the contrast. And this is a really fantastic way to add a professional kind of twist to your modeling portfolio. If you wanted to display how your wireframe looks over your models, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed this quick tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.